hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is Brittany and I make a ton of homeschool and motherhood related content and today's video is going to be about knowing what level your child should be in so what level curriculum you need to purchase for your child and how to go about doing that because I've been getting flooded with tons of questions of new homeschoolers which I want to just say welcome to the wonderful life of homeschooling <laughs> uh, but they um, are all wondering how to know what level to purchase for their children. So I just wanted to show you what I did for my kids and what made it so easy and another reason why I love the good and the beautiful so much. So with that being said, let me just take a moment to thank our sponsors for today's video, the good and the beautiful. They are the ones who uh, we buy all of our curriculum from for my daughters and we are loving it so much. My daughter Layla is about to start the level one and my daughter Samara is about to start the pre-K. So um, I will show you exactly what I did to know that they were ready for those levels. So I'm gonna do a little screen recording here and get my little tech savvy senses tingling. <laughs> I'm not tech savvy like at all. Okay, so here we have the Good and the Beautiful's website. Now let's say that you want to, you're thinking about starting your child in pre-K or um, the level K primer and you're not sure which one. So we go to the language arts, pre-K, scroll down here and there's a little level assessment here. And here it pops up everything you need to know about how to administer the assessment and what that means. So this is what I did when I first started The Good and the Beautiful with Layla when she was going into the level K. So you go down here and you see all the different levels it offers. So pre-K through level seven, which equals out to about like ninth grade if you were to consider public school, but homeschooling doesn't really follow the total grades the same way as public school does. So um, this just kind of gives you like an idea. There's a ton of frequently asked questions in here, which are so helpful for knowing when you should do the assessment and what that means. So right here, it says that uh, you can download levels one through five for free. And that's one thing that I absolutely love about The Good and the Beautiful that other curriculums don't do. They are so focused on making things easy for the parent or teacher and engaging and enjoyable for the student. Um, so I just love that so much. Okay, so here is where the assessments start. This is on page four. So for pre-K, it just is, it's very simple because pre-K is like where it starts. So it's very simple. If your child can count to five, recognize pictures and say the words of apple, monkey, alligator, garbage can, elephant, and dinosaur, then they're ready for the course. Most children will be ready to start the course at age three or four. So that's kind of like a, a guideline. Um, and this is what I am starting Samara in um, the pre-K because, um, for the level K primer, this one right here, a child should be able to start this course when the following criteria are met. He or she can sing most of the alphabet without the help of a parent. He or she knows the majority of letters and their sounds, but has not mastered all of them. He or she can count to 10 and knows basic shapes and colors. So the reason why I didn't start Samara with the level K primer was because of this one right here. She she can sing the alphabet and she knows she can count to like 30 and she knows basic shapes and colors but she is not uh confident with letter sounds she hasn't mastered any letter sounds she knows the alphabet she knows the letter rec she can recognize the letters but she has not mastered any of the sounds and so I really want to make sure she's confident and she's mastered all of those before we get into anything that might be a little bit too advanced for her and then for the level k assessment um it just uh has that all right here how to administer the assessment is uh, you just point uh to each letter and the child has to say the sound and the name of the letter and indicate whether it's an uppercase or lowercase. Then as the levels get higher and higher, the assessments of course get a little bit more difficult. There's reading assessments, grammar assessments, and then um, I just love that The Good and the Beautiful offers this for 
parents who aren't sure this might be their first year homeschooling and they want to really be confident and not start their child in something that's too easy for them or something that's too hard for them where they may get a little bit frustrated and not be as motivated. So I think that this is a uh, resource that everybody needs to utilize who is about to start homeschooling. Now I'll pop over and show you the math assessment as well. So you just go over to math and then um, level K and then same thing, the math level assessment is right here because their math starts at level K. Okay, so here's the pre-assessment. So a child is ready to begin at level K once he or she can complete this page with 100% accuracy. So no, it, like everything on this page has to be mastered. And these ones are really good to print out um, and do them because uh, they'll need to, because they'll need to uh, cut along this line and trace it as well. So to really know like their fine motor skills and their scissor use, <laughs> which is kind of scary. I always thought it was very scary to start your children using scissors, like when that time comes. Um, and then here's the level one assessment. And of course it gets a little bit more difficult, but the, for these ones, it's really good to be able to print them out because the child does need to start like writing on these things. Um, and so as you can see here, coloring and things, completing the pattern with the empty circles, those are level ones that goes on into the higher levels. So um, I thought that this was just such an amazing resource and I've had so many people asking questions about how they are going to be confident in knowing what level to buy for their child. And that's just another reason why I think that The Good and the Beautiful is the way to go for so many. I know it's not 100% for everyone. I mean, there is no one size fits all of homeschooling, but uh, I think that if more people knew about this, they might choose this and it might make their first year of homeschooling a lot easier knowing that they are getting the right grade or the right level for their child and that the good and the beautiful is just so open and go low prep work for parents to be starting with their kids you just go ahead and start there's really nothing that you have to like spend hours and hours of prepping and cutting and laminating and all that it's just all right there ready for you there's no holes in the curriculum it you don't have to supplement with anything but i just wanted to show you guys how easy it really is to know what grade your child should fall into and um, I hope that this was something that gave you a little bit more confidence and maybe this is your first year of homeschooling and let me know in the comment section down below if this is your first year second year third year how long have you been homeschooling what ages are your kids and uh, yeah let's get to chatting down there because I'm really excited to hear what you guys have to say and I'm getting excited that the new school year is coming upon us so quickly. So um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Check the description down below for links to the assessments. I will have those down there for you as well and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Where is it? I never know which side it's on. I've been doing this long enough. I should know which side it's on. <laughs> Um, but subscribe if you haven't already because I have new videos coming out, um, all kinds of things getting us ready for the new school year, and I am very excited. I hope you all are too, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.